Hey, good morning. So yesterday at the store, I bought all the ingredients to meal prep for the week, and a couple of you have been asking um, what I do for meal prep, and uh, I, it switches up every week, but I thought I'd show you what I'm doing this week. So starting with breakfast, today I'm making French toast, for three days. So today, tomorrow, and the day after. Some people don't like the taste of reheated French toast. I personally don't care. I'll eat garbage. That being said, I'm gonna make some French toast. like this. I know what you're thinking doesn't look healthy, but it fucking is. So shut your fucking mouth. I used like the tiniest drizzle of maple syrup, like probably like an eighth a teaspoon if you were to measure it out. I scrambled my eggs today, but then for the rest of the week I have these hard boiled eggs going. Um, that way I don't have to cook eggs every morning. I just hate the dishes involved with cooking eggs at with like actually making fresh eggs every morning. So for lunch, what I'm gonna do is I got my crock pot right here and I'm gonna cook all the chicken I need for the week right here in this crock pot and then I come back in four hours and it's all cooked, yay! I'm just gonna put a little bit of marinara sauce at the bottom of this. Got my chicken, organic free range chicken. I'm gonna put a little bit more marinara sauce on the top. I'm gonna put it on high. And this is from the vanilla from just making French toast just now, so do not judge me. So it's on high now. I'm gonna set an alarm for four hours from now, and when I come back, chicken will just be magically done. And then we'll make like three or four meals with it and put them in the fridge so that the rest of the week, all we have to do is warm up meals. Meal prep is so cold. Literally, like literally, it's like literally, 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 living for it, living for it. Hey, hi. So. Yes, I look different now. A lot happened since we were last here. I edited my video, I got some gains, I took a shower, I put on some makeup, and our chicken's ready, yay! You can't really tell, but I swear it is. I have to run off to an event right now. Um, not an event, uh, why did I call it an event? It's just a bunch of people getting drinks. Um, a, a friendship, I think, is called? Yeah, friendship. Um, so I'm, I'm off to do some friendship right now, and then I'm gonna show you what I do with the chicken to do some more meal prep for the rest of the week. Hi! Yeah, it's a new day. I got a little carried away at the event. Anyway, if you look over here, I have a bitch ton of vegetables. And over here, yep, don't forget those. I have an eggplant. I've never cooked an eggplant before. I thought eggplants were like longer. This looks nothing like the eggplant emoji. So I'm pretty underconfident about that, but we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, so I need to eat more vegetables. I love vegetables, but I just don't love cooking vegetables. But if I cook them all at once, then I'll, I'll eat them throughout the week. Um, it's just a matter of making time to cook them. And like technically we should have meal prepped everything the same day, so it should have all been done yesterday, but you know, what can you do? Like, events happen. I also got some quinoa going right now. This is Steve's pan. This is why he's not allowed to use my pans. Because you don't scratch a Teflon pan. Otherwise, it ruins all the non-stick. And also, it's bad for your food. It's like poisonous, I think. Pretty sure. Science. So I got the oven preheated to 400 degrees. And we're going to chop up these vegetables. We're going to put some parchment down on these baking sheets. We're going to sprinkle them with garlic salt. Then we're going to put them in the oven for 15 minutes. And then we're going to flip them. And then we're going to put them in for another 15 minutes. There's a lot of instructions. But guess what? There's a visual.
now you have like three or four fully balanced meals. The whole process takes about an hour and a half, but then you have meals for the whole week. And um, you can either store them separately and then assemble them before you reheat them, or you could store them all assembled and just reheat them whenever you want. If you take them to work, it's probably easier if you have it assembled and then stored in your fridge, but I work here, so I don't mind assembling. It's been working out pretty well for me. Good luck if you do it. It's really good for your gains. That's all. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground. Far from all worries and troubling sounds.